Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video we're going to talk about these properties over here. When you right click on the, the project tab, when we go to create, we go down here, we got all these little options. I'm going to start from the bottom to the top. I'm not going to cover this. We're going to go to terrain layer. That's going to be the first thing. Now if you click on terrain layer, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to put this as grass because I know I'm going to use a grass terrain layer. Or actually I'm going to rename this just in case I have one already to my grass. And then I'm going to assign a tiling texture. Now this texture is going to be a grass texture. And I will add these as well to the description below. That way if you want to download these assets, pretty sure this one's free. So now we got this grass layer, terrain layer, and right now we'll add the rest of these options. But first let's go to our scene and let's just add our terrain, the 3D object, terrain, and now we get this terrain. Now when we go to this paint section right here, we could edit terrain layers and we could add a layer since we already have this layer. And we're going to choose my grass because that's what I named it. and. As you can see, it's what happens. It just sets our layer for us. Now, uh, let me actually lower this brush size. And let me go to my grass, go to the normal map, go to grass, and I think there's a normal, grass one normal. And now I could, you know, tweak these settings if I want and adjust the grass. I'll just leave it like that just so we could see a bit of the grass. And we could change if we want the specular to be changed. So the specular is just the light that bounces off of it pretty much. The color is gonna display and then we could change if we wanted to be metallic smoothness of it see it's real like glossy now looks like it's wet and then we could change of course the tiling size we could change the offset so the offset it just shifts the image to one side so it's just shifting this image and you could also use a mask map i don't think i have one for the grass nope here we have no, I don't really have one, but I could use anything pretty much. It says that the texture has to be set to repeat. So I'll just go over here and set it to repeat and apply. And then pretty much did what it had to do. Now, if I go to it, there's the map. And that's pretty much it for the terrain layer. You could also, instead of doing all this, go to the terrain, go to edit, go to create layers, and then just choose what you want. So I'm going to choose ground and there's dirt right here. So now I have this and it's pretty much the same thing. I just added another layer and then I could add the normal map. I could do all that and then I could just click on my terrain and paint it on there. So as you can see, I'm just painting it on there and then go to create and we'll talk about brush. Now brush is, let me show you what the brush is, is these brushes right here. So as you can see, we have all these brushes. I'm pretty sure this is my new brush that I just made. So right now it's called new brush, but I could rename it. And then I could also change this fall off curve to pretty much adjust how I want this to be, how I want it to be painted. So, and then you could, you know, change the radius of it. Uh, you could also change the brush remap. You could adjust it like this as so, and you could also invert it. So with this new brush, if we go to our terrain, we could see it's right there. So this is the new one we made. And as you can see, that's how it looks. And we could just paint this how we want. So let me trim up the opacity, click it like, and as you can see, you could just tweak the values real quick and make your own brush real quick. You could add points right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the brush. Now let's go to the legacy. Legacy, there's this cube map. Cube map is pretty much for uh, your skyboxes. So let's say uh, for my skybox, for some reason I wanted to add these pictures right here. Now you could choose each indiviz individual side. So for now, let me just drag it on here. And now you can see I have my right side and I have my left side. So right, left. Now for the top, see there's nothing on the top. I could add the same one and as you can see, and it works for the same thing for everything, the bottom, can't really see the bottom, but it's there, front. You could also change it to different ones. So the front looks like that now, back looks like that. And yeah, that's your cube map pretty much. You could change the face size. So it says lowering the face size is a destructive operation. You might need to reassign the textures later to fix resolution size. It is preferable to use cube map texture import type instead of legacy cube map asset. So you could change the size right here. You could, if you want to use med map instead, and then you could stream the med maps if you want. Uh, you can make it just readable. So if you don't want to write anything into this file you can make it readable and it'll read the file and uh yeah that's it for that i've said this in other videos but if i'm going too fast you know leave me a comment below of anything you want me to go into more detail about and i will let me check if i have more time okay so you know what right here i'm gonna cut it off but in the next videos i will be talking about this ui toolkit custom font gui skin physics material signal 
timeline and I'm just going to keep on going until I finish this whole list. So once again, thank you guys for listening. Thank you for subscribing to all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you learned anything, it helps the channel a lot. Also hit that subscribe button if you want to keep seeing more videos like this. Hit that bell icon as well if you want to get notified as soon as I post a video. And if you guys have any questions, if you have any suggestions for videos, just leave me a comment down below. Once again, thank you.